You turn your King James Bible to the book of Proverbs chapter 14. I'm just going to do a very quick video here. I was going to do this as a walk and talk, but um, something that's been irritating me for a while now, I've been seeing this on YouTube. It's a, a popular trend. And I just, I've been thinking, okay, Lord, how do I put this into words? What scripture could I use against this wickedness? And he gave me the perfect scripture. I was looking at this the other night, reading through the book of Proverbs, my favorite book of the entire Bible. And I saw this verse and I thought, boy, that really nails it. And then there's two other places to go to yet. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 24. The crown of the wise is their riches, but the foolishness of fools is folly. Um, there's a disturbing trend here on YouTube that I've seen where people will um, destroy things as a way to get views. Um, there was one, uh, this whistling diesel or something. I saw one of these videos the one time and taking a vintage truck and slamming it into poles and destroying it and this and that and whatever. And, and I thought, that's not really what we need right now to help the morale of this or the morality of this nation. A bunch of young people just trashing things that they have and whatever else. You say, well, it doesn't matter because he's getting the views and he gets the money and he trashes it to get the views. But you see, what the scripture just said there, the crown of the wise is their riches. If you're a wise man, you look and you say, hey, you know what? The Lord gave me something. The Lord gave me, um, I'll show you something here. This is an old brush. And I was a little boy and there was a man, it's, it's a Brazilian or a genuine satin wood. It says there on the side. You can see it there. You can see that, hopefully. I was a little boy went to Shady Maple Grocery Store before they had the Shady Maple Smorgasbord in New Holland, Pennsylvania. That's where I was raised, down there in Pennsylvania. I'm saying Lancaster County. And I remember got done and there was this older Mennonite man and he had these scripture signs and he had these little, you know, things set up like a little, you know, just flea market type of a thing. And we were walking by and he said, hey, come on over here to my mother and, and myself and my siblings. And he came over and he said, all the stuff here, he said, uh, pick something, whatever you want. And um, you children are really good, and I just want to give you a little reward for that. And this is what I picked. Uh, now, I guess it'd be neat for me to do a video, you know, on this and, and uh, destroy it on camera or something. I mean, the bristles are falling out and everything. But I've had this thing since I was a boy because it was given to me by an older man. Um... My, I think my brother got a little wooden turtle or something, carved wooden turtle that he had made. I treasure this. This is, means something to me. Um, people send me things like that. This was made for me. It says Jesus, if you can't figure that out. This little uh, golden, golden menorah there to show my support for the true Jewish people. Um, you know, lots of things people have given me. My grandfather gave me this. My paternal grandfather, it's a Civil War bayonet. Don't know if it was ever used or anything, but, um, you know, other, I mean, used as a, <laughs> but I treasure things like that. I'm not about to go and say, I'm just going to destroy that so I can get views. But I'm seeing this and I'm thinking, you know, the youth in this nation have no respect for the riches of somebody else, somebody else's wealth. Hey, there's a car. Let me go over and jump up and down on the hood of it. Oh, well, there's a police car. Let me go destroy that. Yeah, then we have to pay the taxes to replace that. There's a statue. Let's go tear it down. Let's go do graffiti. Let's go do this. Let's go do that. Seriously messed up. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 15, the next chapter over. Verse 6 through 11 says, In the house of the righteous is much treasure. How do you establish much treasure? By winning the lottery? No, by building it up down through the years. My son right now, some of his favorite stuffed animals that he has up in his room are the ones that I was given when I was a boy. And my wife has a lot of hers that she was given. We consider that treasure because we know that it was our parents' way of showing love to us. I'm not going to destroy it. What kind of messed up individual would I be? And it's it's not just that whistling diesel kid. There's a bunch of others that are doing this thing. A whole lot of channels on YouTube where they just destroy stuff. Let's just take something nice and completely destroy it. We'll get a lot of views that way. It's wickedness. Verse 7. Oh, sorry, verse 6. Let's finish that. Um, 
In the house of the righteous is much treasure, but in the revenues of the wicked is trouble. Funny too, because I saw that this this whole thing of this uh, kid got in trouble, whatever. You know, you watch one video and it's all coming up in the, you know, feeds and whatever else. Um, this kid got in trouble for doing violating laws and things, and they get in trouble all the time. These people. In the revenues of the wicked is trouble. Hmm. The lips of the wise disperse knowledge, but the heart of the foolish doeth not so. We're supposed to disperse knowledge. That's what made this country great. I read stuff from the 1700s and 1800s, and the, the speech of the people was amazing back then. Very intelligent. Verse 8, The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but the prayer of the upright is his delight. The way of the wicked is an abomination unto the Lord, but he loveth him that followeth after righteousness. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way, and he that hateth reproof shall die. Hell and destruction are before the Lord. How much more then the hearts of the, of the children of men? God looks at the heart. God knows. He can see things. Why are you doing this? Love of money is the root of all evil. It just really irritates me seeing this stuff going on. Again, as our nation's falling apart, apart morally, instead of being wise and dispersing knowledge and saying, hey, you know what? Respect what you have been given. Don't be some little brat that just goes out and say, I hate this and break it. I want a new toy or something. Couldn't stand kids like that. I remember, again, another little story from my childhood. Uh, my father gave me a little tin bank and had a little, a little clown and you'd push a little you know, lever on you know, in the front of the bank and his tongue would go like that and stick out and then you'd put a coin on there and let go of the little tab and the tongue would go back in and it would go down into the bank. And uh, you know, old one, it was my father's when he was a little boy. And I had that thing sitting in my room. I, I really respected it. I thought, hey, that's really neat. My father gave that to me. And I remember I had some friends come over the one time. This was a teenager riding dirt bike and whatever. And they came over after school. We were riding and came up to my room and I was showing them some things. And the one kid got the bank and he was going, you know, hitting it really hard and making the tongue go in and out. And I said, hey, I said, put that down. That's an antique. And he, oh, it's an antique. Oh, Denlinger. Oh, you know making fun of me. I didn't care because that was given to me. That's something I consider a treasure and I still have it. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 2. We'll jump back up in the chapter. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. That's a scary thing to think about, isn't it? The eyes of the Lord are in every place. I don't know how he puts up with people. I really don't. Anybody out there that says that God is a, a terrible God and whatever else, uh, you know, how, how can he send anybody to hell? Because he sees everything that people are doing. Right? If you did, you'd want to send people to hell too. <laughs> if you could read their, you know, their thoughts, the secret things and whatever, yeah, you'd be sending people to hell as well. Believe you me. Verse 4, a wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. Uh, perverted tongues, uh, profane tongues is a breach in my spirit. And I get sick and tired of seeing that. But God's going to settle it all. It'll all work out. All these people, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. So just wanted to do a real quick little study on this whole thing because it really irritates me seeing these little brats coming out just taking nice stuff and destroying it so that they can get views and they get people riled up and whatever else. It's not the thing that makes a good culture. Um, that's not America. Okay, the thing that made America great is a strong, moral, hardworking people that feared God and read the Bible, or at least acknowledged the scriptures. They called it the good book. Lost people would say that. Not a bunch of people taking things and destroying them. I'll tell you one other story here before I close this video. Used to work with a guy that knew a bunch of rich kids. This is long before. This was back in the 1950s. Um, long before YouTube. <laughs> and he said that this guy owned this big factory and he had all kinds of money. And he had two sons. I think they were twins, about the same age. And he, gave, he just said, hey, you know, here's a bunch of money. Go do what you want with it. You know what they did? They went out and they bought two brand new 57 Chevy Bel Airs. The, you know, probably one of the top models or whatever. I don't know them that well, but really nice cars. 57 Chevys. 
one of the most classic, iconic hot rod cars out there, brand new at the time, took them out in the field and had a demolition derby. Totaled both cars. <laughs> this is fun slamming them into things. That's okay, daddy's got more money. That's what's wrong with the society. So um, my rebuke out there as a preacher, as a man of God, I rebuke all those channels out there, and I hope God judges them harshly that are, that are disobeying these scriptures. The foolishness of folly, where, oh, I'm just going to take this stuff, and I don't care about the riches that are coming in. I'm not going to say, thank you, God, for this. I'm going to take it, and I'm going to buy something so I can destroy it, and thereby destroy the character of the young people in this country. God's not going to put up with it. He's not. So that's going to be it. Please take heed to my words. Thank you for watching.